In September last year, I visited Japan as the University of Warwick began installing its neutrino detectors at a laboratory just north of Tokyo. But just what is a neutrino? Well, here's how we explained it at the time. So, scientists think the whole universe is made up of just 12 different particles, which we've represented with these appropriately Japanese figures. Now, some of these will be very familiar to all of us, like the electron. But others are a bit more, well, mysterious. And the most mysterious of all is the neutrino, which actually comes in three different flavours. And neutrinos actually oscillate or flip between all these flavours. It's this oscillation that the researchers were trying to study. That meant sending a beam of neutrinos from the coast, 300 kilometres straight through the Earth, to a detector at another lab in the centre of the country. And initial results were very promising. But then in March this year... Everybody had to come home as quickly as possible. Of course, the primary uh, concern was, was people's safety. So we had an anxious few days scrabbing around trying to account for everybody. Good news is nobody was injured and um, everybody within a few days was accounted for. Measurements show that the earthquake moved the entire site one metre further out to sea. Repair work continues and now researchers are starting to go back and this is one reason they want to return. It's pre-earthquake data but it shows exactly the neutrino event the researchers were looking for. The data we took up until the 11th of March when the earthquake struck is the data that our, our recent result is based on. Now that accounts for only about 2% of the total data set that we finally hope to take with the experiment. But uh, we've been very pleasantly surprised that we can actually start to make some physics statements out of just this 2% of data. As the neutrino beam travelled through Japan, just a few neutrinos oscillated, flipped between states, and the researchers managed to measure them. But so far they've only seen six events. They need an awful lot more data yet. In the meantime, the hope is for repair work to continue and to start up the experiment again in November.